and criminals operate in every big city. London, with its 8 million people and 700 square miles of police territory, has a constant war to wage against men and women who live outside the law. Robbery had led to murder in a warehouse in London's northwest district of Paddington. In my tour of duty as a Canadian Mountie with the London police, I was attached to D Division, working the Paddington area. My partner was Detective Sergeant Donaldson. I'd been delayed on another case, and by the time I reached the warehouse, the investigation had been underway for some time. Something's gone wrong. Better get out of here, eh? Take it easy, West. We've got valuable freight to pick up. With all those cops around? Before you get too scared, let's find out what has happened. How long is it going to be, Inspector? We'll give you clearance as soon as we can. What's happened? It's been a robbery. Watchman's been knocked off. Let's get out of here. Don't run until we know someone's after us. Mike, we've found a fan light that might have been used as an exit. Could a man get through it? And get away over the rooftops. Hold on a moment. When we get all right, Constable. Let these men collect their freight, but make a note of all names and addresses. Right. Robinson Chemical Company. Got a crate to collect. Are you the driver? My name is Prentice. Here's the consignment order. Right. records gave us a list of Dave Allen's hangouts and the names of his known friends. We made the rounds, but no one had seen Allen. Or if they had, they just weren't talking. Looks like he found a new set of friends. None of his old ones have seen him. Ah, oh, but we've got to keep trying. MP to Central 6. MP to Central 6. Central 6 to MP. MP to Central 6. Body found in crate, Maida Avenue. Message received. We're on our way. Maida Avenue That's only a couple of blocks away. Who is he? Any identification? Dave Allen. He was wanted for robbery and murder. So we found him. Yeah, it's a little too late. No chance of prints on that, Mike. Surface is too rough. I know that. I was just thinking. We never did find out how Allen got in and out of that warehouse. Maybe this is the answer. The crate? You mean someone left the crate with Allen inside of the warehouse? Could be, and then pick it up in the morning. That would explain this series of warehouse robberies. This crate isn't big enough to hold Allen and the loot that was taken. Well, but it could have been a bigger crate. I think we'd better take a good look at those photographs of the warehouse again. Come on.
Duck. Moncton's warehouse off the Malibin Road. Big batch of furs being stored there. Fine. We'll have Corby working inside on this one. Better be smarter than Dave Allen was. No guns on this job. Tell him he'll have to stay inside the case until early morning. The watchman will be more relaxed. Got that? Yeah. Fine. Get the case and we'll get moving. With the photographs went a description of the gang's methods and a warning that these men were dangerous. Throughout the night, reports came in from freight depots, storage vaults, and warehouses. Any move? No, sir. It's all quiet in there. The packing case is near the office. All right. Lock up after you've let us in. That's them. They're just collecting the crate now. and see if you can hit him off. I'm going up after him. Right. Come with me. 